Now I've been happy lately Thinking about good things to come And I believe it could be Something good has begun Oh, I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world as one And I believe it could be Someday it's gonna come Cause I'm on the edge of darkness There rides the peace train Oh, peace train, we take this country Praise be to thee, O my God, that thou hast ordained this day as a festival unto the favored among thy servants and the sincere among thy loved ones. Thou hast called this day by that name whereby all created things have been subdued and the breezes of thy revelation have been wafted between earth and heaven, a name through which all that hath been recorded in thy holy books and sacred scriptures have been made manifest, and which thy messengers and thy chosen ones have foretold, that all men might be made ready to behold thee, to turn towards the ocean of thy reunion, to stand before the seat of thy throne, and to hear thy wondrous call from the dayspring of thine invisible self and the dawning place of thine essence. Shabbat shalom. 
old friends, abandon not the everlasting beauty for a beauty that must die, and set not your affections on this mortal word of dust. Hey, Dustan. به جمال فانی از جمال باقی مگذرید و به خاکدان ترابی دل مبندید و های برا صحابت جنگن لح منینگالکن که اندهان عبادی دمی سواتو که اندهان یان حروس ماتی دن جنگن لح مناروح چینتا پدا دنیا تنه یان فانا اینی بینی At the time of the vernal equinox in the material world, a wonderful, vibrant energy and new life quickening is observed everywhere in the vegetable kingdom. The animal and human kingdoms are resuscitated and move forward with a new impulse. The whole world is born anew, resurrected, gentle zephyrs are set in motion, wafting and fragrant. Flowers bloom, the trees are in blossom, the air temperate and delightful. How pleasant and beautiful become the mountains, fields and meadows. Likewise, the spiritual bounty and springtime of God quicken the world of humanity with a new animus and vivification. Oh, 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 oh. 
desire of my heart and soul. Bestow upon thy friends thy loving kindness and grant them thine unfailing mercy. Be thou a solace to thine ardent lovers and a friend, a comforter, and a loving companion to them who yearn for thee. Their hearts are ablaze with the fire of thy love and their souls are consumed with the flame of devotion to thee. They long, one and all, to hasten unto the altar of love, that they may willingly lay down their lives. O Divine Providence, grant them thy favor, guide them aright, graciously aid them to achieve spiritual victory, and confer upon them heavenly bestowals. O Lord, assist them by thy munificence and grace, and make their radiant faces lamps of guidance in assemblies devoted to the knowledge of thee, and signs of heavenly bounty in gatherings where thy verses are expounded. Thou art verily the merciful, the all-bountiful, the one whose help is implored by all men. Abdul Baha.
all the virtues which have been deposited and potential in human hearts are being revealed from that reality as flowers and blossoms from a divine garden. It is a day of joy, a time of happiness, a period of spiritual growth. I beg of God that this divine spiritual civilization may have the fullest impression and effect upon you. And may you become as growing plants. May the trees of your hearts bring forth new leaves and variegated blossoms. May ideal fruits appear from them in order that the world of humanity, which has grown and developed in material civilization, may be quickened in the bringing forth of spiritual ideals. Now I've been smiling lately, thinking about the good.